Hi there. This is Jen from Scrap and Posh. And I'm going to do a little project here for BB Scraps. And I am going to, uh, or I'm sorry, BB Crafts. And uh, they are a international jewelry or jewelry making and jewelry supplies um, online store. And I will link everything that I use below. I also did a share video and I've done um, a video previously. So this video is going to be kind of unique. I am going to first um, use this distress stain on some of the um, jump rings. I got a dozen jump rings here. And this is, uh, this is distress paint. Picket fence distress paint. And about four foot of this, this chain. And if you remember, I already used this chain. I mean, it just came with a lot. So let me find the end. I don't know why I just did that, because I could totally use the end. And, um, If you were going to wear this or use it as a charm or anything, I don't recommend doing this. The only reason I can do this is because it's going to be for decoration. It is not going to be picked up and put down. It is going to be hanging from the ceiling. So <laughs> no worries about it even... getting uh and you can do this I mean, you could probably do this with some thick acrylic paint I'm just trying to tone down that antique antiqueness um, and go for more of like a, a shabby chic. And I'll show you what I'm going to do. If you guys have not seen it yet, check out the video tutorial I did of the hot air balloon. Because that is what we're going to be doing today is decorating said hot air balloon. This is a half size of the one that I did. And here's the other two little pieces that go to it. And... I also did a quarter size, which is half of this, if I can find it. Where in the world did I put it? <laughs> Anyways, it's, I mean, obviously it's, it's fairly small and I can't find it. It has to be here somewhere. But, uh, I'll show it to you in the next video. I'll find it wherever I put it. And, oh, I forgot, this, uh, this little feather, I also need to distress stain it. Now, it's silver, so obviously it's going to turn out a lot whiter than the, than the gold did. But, like I said, I'm not looking to, like, have full coverage or anything. I just want it to kind of be stained. All right, so we shall return in, as soon as this is all dry, and I will show you how to use these jewelry supplies in a way that you may not have thought of before. So we'll see you back here. Thanks. Bye-bye. All right, you guys, so let's start this process. We are, again, decorating the balloon. Um, and I have the chain that I use my Tim Holtz... Uh, paint, distress paint on. This is cut, I need six cut to about three and a quarter inches and I just use my wire cutter for that. I need six cut at about two and a quarter inches, somewhere around in there. It doesn't have to be precise. I have six <clears throat> eye pins. 
I think they're called. And these came in this kit. I have um, a feather charm that also came in this kit. Um, the, these chains came in the kit with the uh, ch ch chabacons, the clear glass things. And then I have six pieces of eraser from pencils that had outlived their lives. Um, and six head pins that um, they do have them, but I did not, uh, I didn't get those there. Um, I already had some. And then I've got 12 beads of two different colors. I use white and gold because I have no pink beads apparently. And um, I didn't get these at the BB Crafts, but they do have them. So definitely check out their selection of beads. Um, these erasers. Um, cut them in half or crosswise or something because you want them a little softer on the outside. They're harder. So um, I'm going to cut my eye pins down. Uh, I don't know, to about a half inch. It doesn't have to be exact. It's just I don't need all this extra, or not the eye pins, the, uh, yeah, the eye pins. Okay. I'm just going to cut them down so that I don't have so much extra hanging out. And I probably won't keep what I cut off because I really just don't have any good use for it right now. In the future I have some cool plans that I could use it for but I will have um, collected more by then. Oh I forgot to tell you I also have um, 14 I'll think of it in a second jump rings and four more pieces of that chain cut to about an inch and a half or an inch and three quarter. Okay. Here we go. <clears throat> so the plan is to put the eye pins in the seam of the balloon. Now I have a little hole here, so that one's going to go right in, but sometimes you'll have to actually push it through um, to get it to go in. So the main thing is, is that you want them all in approximately the same position. And hopefully you have enough room to stick your hand in here and try to place this eraser in on the tip of the pin. And my pin is totally disappearing. There it is. Okay. So I'm just feeling my way around. I have the pin <clears throat> set and I have the eraser between my two fingers. And I'm going to press the pin into the eraser. Easier said than done. Once it's in there, I can use a little more. Now, let's say that your dexterity is not being nice to you. You see that? Or, you know, and such. The other thing you can do is you can put a little tiny dab of hot glue on the balloon where you want your eye, your, um, your stuff to go. And then put the the jump ring on like I did this. This is that's how this is held on. There's just a little tiny dab of hot glue, and then I just put the jump ring on. Now that is not as stable. Um, the other thing you can try and do, this is as stable as it's gonna get. The other thing you can try and do is um, put a dab of glue. Um, like you can push this through here and then like put a dab of super glue or some some kind of really um, strong glue 
to hold that in. So, I mean, there are options, but I think that this one is probably going to be the sturdiest option. So that's the one I'm going to go with here. And the one that I suggest if you can manage it. If not, just use one of those other methods. That, um, that tiny balloon, there's no other way to get to the inside of it. I mean, the opening for that, I can't even hardly put my finger in it. So, but this is definitely not the easiest way to do this. <clears throat> There. It's kind of a, like, I can't even properly show you how to do it because it's on the inside of the balloon. I'm just <laughs> taking the eraser, feeling around for where that pin comes through, pushing it right in there. And then the other thing you can try and do, let's say that you have the dexterity, but you don't have the strength to push that pen into the eraser because I am finding it kind of hard to do. Um, maybe some Play-Doh or um, even clay. It doesn't have to, like, you can use oven bake. It doesn't have to dry. It just needs to keep it in. This orange eraser is harder than the pink eraser. I'm having problems with it. Um... If you have uh, an art eraser, the gummy kind, that would work. You just stick that gummy stuff. You know what? If you had chewed up chewing gum, you could probably use it. I don't suggest as using it as a gift for anybody, but just something that you can get in there. And poke on the end of your pens. This one is being a bear. I can't get a grip on it to push it in. Because the eraser is harder. And now I'm going to stab myself, you guys. Let me see if the black eraser is any softer. I'm tearing up my, my paper. It's just paper. Be gentle. Of course the first two went on really good. No. Okay. That one's a little easier. I may have to get a different eraser for the other ones. That eraser started falling apart. <coughs> falling apart and you just you make sure you want them approximately in the same place which is going to look funny oh what I'm doing on the inside that you guys can't see is I'm holding this eraser like this in my two fingers and then from the outside I'm coming in and I'm just pushing this pin into that eraser just like that and it is not the easiest thing to do so yeah, I would definitely try if you guys got Play-Doh or something like that. Would be much easier to deal with. Actually, let me see if I can grab some of my clay. I do clay things. I love giving you guys alternatives. I just have a big tub of air dry clay here. I think my daughter uses this for... Um, Oh, this is going to be so much easier, you guys. My daughter uses this to make slime. Okay. And you don't have to wait for it to dry, uh, to finish it. You just don't pull on them real hard and they won't come off. The only thing I'm worried about is that it's going to leave marks on the outside of my paper. Um, because of the whatever's in here to make it moist and squishy. I'm not really worried about it, though, because... I mean, you're not going to see it. But yeah, that's a better alternative, you guys. Do air uh, some clay or something moldable and squishy. 
because that was so much easier. You just gotta be careful when you're working with it. If you want to let it dry, then that would probably be the best way to do it. You don't want to, if your paper is really tight together, kind of just squeeze your pen through there. You don't want to go through the paper, you want to go through the seam. If you can find the seam. Or the... Two sides meet. There we go. And this is the last one, thanks to the air dry clay. Alright, and I had a... Oh, oh, that one's going right through. Okay, there we go. Once we put... If it starts going through your seam, once we put the stuff on it on the outside, it won't do that. So, And I wish I could go in there and put some... Um, like a dab of hot glue in there, but I just don't see how that's possible right now. Okay, and then once it's dry, we can deal with some of this um, deformation. Okay, so that was that was much easier. Suggestion, air dry clay. Or putty, or... Hey, that would have worked. Putty would work. Okay, let's see. How are we on time? It is 6 o'clock in the morning, you guys. I've got to go to work today. Okay. Now, we're going to string our beads. And I'm just going to use one white. Come on. This is a, this is a, ow, I stabbed myself. One gold. Let me zoom you guys in. This is the easy part. Okay, let me get rid of these erasers. Bad erasers. You are not good for the purpose that I have put you out for. Um, and I don't want to cut this yet because when I do, I want to put like I want to put everything on at the same time as far as the rings go I think that they'll all fit on one ring but they may not so we'll try it though because we got two chains and this bead to go on one jump ring and they're not that big just this big But we shall try, and I shall try and stay in frame. White gold. White gold. And nothing rolled away, so I am happy. White. Gold. Yeah. And I wanted to, I used, um, ah, uh, these are probably what, how big are these? Three millimeter beads, maybe? But yeah, check out the bbcrafts.com. I think you guys, I, I really like their um, their kits. I thought that though, they were really fun. And they're very versatile too. And pick up your beading uh, tools <laughs> while you're there. So you're not using big old uh, wire cutters and needle nose pliers unless I mean unless that's better for you some people I guess have you know not have bigger hands but maybe the bigger tools are easier for them to use I don't know I think the tools like the the actually the actual jewelry tools are probably more uh, dainty so maybe it's easier to use and then you'll need one of these um, I think it's a rounder so all right so instead of breaking my nails I'm just gonna take and this is easier to do with like two flat nose instead of a you can't press hard because this is a wire cutter open it up 
Okay, now, um, before I put the, do I want to do that? No, I want to put the, this on last. So, get one of your longer, no, you do the shorter one first. Am I doing this right? No. <laughs> I'll get this right, you guys. Okay, so let's do this. Let's get this formed. You're going to make a loop from the straight end. With this, all you got to do is push. right next to the bead and then push again right next to where you just pushed and you can see how it's how it's come a U now right at the base of that where your beads start on the opposite side of that U you just snap with your wire cutters or whatever jewelry supplies you have you don't need that now take your jump ring Oh, we can do that, you guys. Let's go ahead and do that to all of these. Because the jump ring's open. Duh, okay. And you just squeeze it together. And now you have a little loop. Let's do it again. Because I can cut these. Okay. So, you put your tool right next to the bead. Push once. And you get like this half, this 90 degree bend, a nice round one, and then you put it right next to the 90 degree bend, going the same way. And you push, hang on, I'll get it. And you push again until it's you, like that. You snip at the bottom of the bead, right about there. Don't need this piece. And then I take my wire, or my wire trimmers and I make it a circle. And this one's a little deformed. Just manipulate it, that's what it's for. That could have went better, you guys. Sometimes, though, it just happens. There we go. I could have cut that a little longer. Okay, so you end up with something like that. Make sure there's no um, space where it can come off. Do it again, right next to the bead. Right next to where you just tapped it. To make a U. Cut at the top of the bead. Whoops, have it fly away. Okay, and then close. Just like that. Okay, there's three. Time has lapsed. It is now 7.30 at night. I went to work, <clears throat> came home, salted some stuff because it's going to snow <clears throat> or freeze rather.
in case. Yeah, yeah, we... Right? Alright, so now what we're going to do is get a jump ring. On the jump ring, we're going to put first. We're first going to put the bead, then the small, no, then the large chain. Then the small chain. Then we're going to put that here. You got to make sure that it's closed. And you know what guys, I think there's enough room in there to put the other chain to, the one adjacent to it. So let's do that. We'll put it back up. So then on the other side, see if I got it. It's not coming. Jeez. Okay. Okay. I'm going to do a small chain. I'm going to check my... Okay, and then on the other side we're going to do long chain, small chain, and put it through the loop, and then close it. Make sure it's closed all the way. start over. We have long, short, Bead. Long. Short.
and thread it through. And close. Okay, now flip the balloon. We have one long and one short, so a jump ring. Take your long. short and a bead and another long another short And hook it to the next loop. And close it. Turn it. Mm-hmm.
and the um the basket and i guess i'll call that the base okay so we see our balloon it looks cute with all its little stuff i'll take pictures of it because it's hard to hold it where the camera can see it <coughs> okay so first what we've got to do is um i cut four of these and i think i told you earlier what the measurement is And then we got poke holes where we want it to go through. So whatever hole poker you have, oh, I have this thing. And since we're doing four, we want them in opposite corners. And so I'll just put one, two, three. Four. and then we're going to hang this from the middle like the little gas thing so we're going to poke a hole right in the middle all right now i am going to thread a small safety pin through two of the chains And then I see that one's a little bit longer than the other, and we can't have that because the basket will be crooked. So I'm going to chop off. There, now they're the same. Okay. Uh, and then close it. And I'm going to take another safety pin. And get two more. Oops. Okay, so I got all those the same size. Now I'm going to put my feather charm, and this came in the um, the kit. And I'll link it down below, the BB craft kit. So I put, I got a jump ring, put it through here. And then the feather, put it through the other. Oops. It's a little bigger. So. And then close it and then we are going to decide how far this is going to hang down and cut it to length. and I 
can do that by turning this over and putting it right through the hole. And I'm going to say that it doesn't have to hang down very far. So because it's long itself. So let's just go ahead and just go like two lengths, lengths, thread the safety pin through and close it. Okay. And then chop off the excess here. Okay. There we go. So now we have a, our feather. That's like the little dangly thing. That's not extra. Okay. Here we go. Now, you take your um, chains and put them through the holes from this side. You see how those hang down. I'm gonna do the same with this. One through each hole. I'm doing on the same side. Um, the holes that are closest to each other. This hole didn't quite get big enough here. Oh. It's because it's right on the edge of the flap. The flap is in the way. I'll move the flap out of the way. There we go. There we go. The other side went through without any problems, so this one, of course, is not going to be as easy. Alright, that one went through. I thought this one went through, but it's not yet. There we go. Enough to hold on to. Oh, pull back in. Got it. Okay. Come on. Keep coming. And this one, just pull them through. Okay, you guys, see? They're just safety pins on top, poke the holes, and it comes down through the bottom. All right. Now, in the basket, we need corresponding holes. And you can put um, brads in it, but this is so small. I hate putting brads in it, it's going to look funny. So let's just poke some more holes. Uh, but I'm going to use an, a big needle instead of the big hole punch. You could probably use like the end of your eyelet uh, eye pen. So I'm just going to poke in four places that correspond with the four places um, on the base thing uh, that I poked. Now you want you're going to use a jump ring. So you want those close enough to the top of this that the jump ring is just going to go right around it. So it's not going to leave a whole lot of space between the basket and the jump ring. But it doesn't have to be very big either. And then, um, actually let's poke all four holes and then start threading the jump rings because things are going to get a little... Um, crowded. Oh, I shouldn't have done that side. I'm going to have to do it through the... It's alright. It doesn't matter. If you see how I decorated the basket, I use washi tape. And here. There we go. 
go. All right, now let's do the jump rings. So I think that if we put these through here, they will stay and then we can thread the chain through them. If not, then we'll have to do them both at the same time. So, let's zoom in. All right. I opened up the jump ring. Let's see if I can get a good... You see how that's... It, I open it sideways. And then I'm going to put one side right through there. And I don't think it's going to come out if I leave it. So it's still open. We're going to do that all four. And you can do six if you want. You can do one on each thing. I think that's a little overkill. And it, uh, I think that it kind of blocks your some of your decor. There we go. Today it was negative five and the wind chill was supposed to be like negative. I don't even know what. So today was cold. It is, what is today's real date? It is the January 30th. So cold. Okay, here, oops. Here we go. Can't find the beginning. There it is. Okay, so I think this is going to be the easiest way to do this. The only way I can think to make this easier is to hang it, hang it on something, which I may be able to do actually. Because, come on. Okay, I was just opening that. It was giving me problems. Okay, so Alright, I got all four of them in there. Now um, I need to thread the corresponding chain through the loop and then close it. Easier said than done. So I'm going to grab the loop I'm going to position the chain just like that and then close it. I think I'm going to hot glue this on guys. What do you think? Should I hot glue it on or should I glue it on? Maybe I'll glue it on. So last time I tried to get use hot glue on my big one, if you guys watched that, which is kind of funny. It just did not work. Unless I edit that part out. I may edit that part out. Alright, hang on. Before I keep talking, now corresponding. So I want to make sure you guys can't see this, but this one's the one that corresponds to this one. So I need to make sure that I get the right one. And then I'm grabbing a hold of the jump ring. And then <clears throat> threading the chain through the jump ring. Um, I'm going to hold it on this side. I have to thread it through that side. Okay. And then, excuse me, Mr. Balloon. Okay. And then hold on to the jump ring and twist it. Yay. Okay. There's two. Two more to go. You see? Do, 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 do. All right, we're going to do these two now. Okay. <clears throat> Grab a hold of the jump ring. Flipped over. Oh, don't, don't fall out. Don't fall out. Excuse me. Don't fall out. 
He's gonna fall out. Nope, 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 he didn't fall out. Okay. Grab a hold of the jump. Oh, come on. Aha, got him. Okay. Make sure I'm right here. She liked the way that uh, painting it with that white really added to like the whole, I don't know, shabby chic look. I don't even know if that, like, I don't, I don't know if I'm saying the right thing or not, but. And then, oh, close it. I think this is like an intermediate project. Like if I were to, Okay, so I got three of them on now. Last one, you guys. Let's do it. Here we go. Grab this ring. Put it through here. Close it up. There we go. Ta-da! I see. It looks good, you guys. See what you did? Doesn't that look neat? Alright, so I'm going to take my balloon and turn it upside down. I'll zoom you out just a little bit. And yeah, I'm not exactly hexagonal there. I'm going to take my liquid glue because, whoa, I just globbed a whole bunch on and I don't even think it goes down that far. I'll fix that in a minute. I'm just like adding glue to this top part here and here and here and if there's anything that you need to do in there now's the time to do it because we're sealing it up there will be no more getting to the inside of this thing all right put your base on wonderful I am liking that fit look at that you guys look at it it's wonderful I mean it's a little crooked but for the most part it's good move that up a little bit yeah I like it what do you guys think there's the balloon it's so cute oh oh crap I didn't put anything to hang it Looks like we're gluing a hanger on. Hmm. What should we do, you guys? Um, I have these big... These little bottles are so cute. Look at them. You can buy these at um, the hardware store. These are eyelets. Little tiny eyelet screws. Let's just use that. Let's put that right between these two holes that I just poked. Let's just, just poke another hole right in the middle. We'll screw this in and then I'll fill those other two holes with glue. Like literally screw it in you guys because there's three layers of paper here. And then glue it. And you can use hot glue which is how I glued my little tiny one. I just hot glued a um, jump ring right to the top of that, but I don't think that's going to be enough for this. So. Just reinforce what I just did and fill in that hole that I made. And then you can either hang it by a chain, since there's already chains all over it. We have one right here. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's put the chain on. Get your jump ring out. Open the jump ring. Um, let's loop it so that you can just hang it on something. So put your jump ring through, and this is just the remainder of the chain. I said I'd cut about four foot, and we used all but this. This is just the remainder. So I just cut it, left it a loop, 
and I'm just going to put that right through that eye, whoop, that uh, eyelet screw, and close it up. And on the little one, I just use like jute ribbon, trim, string, whatever. You can use ribbon. Um, on, oh, that's the same. I use the same stuff on that. Okay. Um, this one, I'm gonna have to squeeze this together a little bit more. I should wait till it's dry, but I'm horribly impatient. Okay. Oh, come on. And then all I gotta do is take pictures and then I can post this tutorial. All right, you guys, thank you very much for hanging out with me. Um, and I hope to see some examples of these awesome balloons. I love them. I, I, I think they're, they're so cute. Okay. So, all right, you guys, um, I'm gonna take some pictures and then post, I got both of these tutorials to post. Here's, ooh, here's the other one that I did, if you guys didn't see it. Um, this is the tutorial, this, this one is the balloon tutorial, and then this one is the chain decoration, the swag and such tutorial. So, um, whichever, uh, if you're watching the, this one, the decorating one, then go back and see how to make the balloons. All right, you guys. Thank you very much. I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you have a great day and see you later. Bye-bye. Have fun creating.